Hello and welcome to Tim Anderson Horse Training. Today we're going to talk about knowing where your horse's feet are when you're working in the spin. If you've seen my earlier video, I talk about the bend counter bend exercise and we've progressed a little bit from there. Now we're getting the horse to kind of step around off of the neck rein. So when you get to this point, you need to know what your horse's feet are doing. See right here, we're stepping around to the right. Front feet are stepping pretty good. And if you watch the back feet, the horse is shifting its weight from one back foot to the other back foot. See right here, weight's on the back left foot. Still on the back left. Now it shifts to the back right. Back right. Now it shifted to the back to the back left before we stepped out of it. Now we'll walk out of that spin and walk a couple of circles and kind of let the horse just kind of chill out, relax, walk a couple of circles. Now for the reining spin, I want that horse's weight shifted back to its back inside foot. A little bit different than if I would for a cow horse. For a cow horse, or for a rollback on a cow, I want the weight on the back outside foot. So a little bit different position for a little bit different type of movement. For this horse, this is practicing a reining spin. I want the make weight on the back inside foot. So what I'm going to do first off to encourage the weight to go to the inside foot is I'm going to add a little bit of impulsion. The horse's impulsion comes from its hips, the forward movement. So to help encourage the weight to go to the inside foot, I'll ask for a little bit of forward impulsion. And a lot of times that will help shift the weight to the inside foot. If you saw my video on the intermediate or the advanced spin, I add that impulsion in the spin by adding some outside leg back in the hip. And that's, that's where I add the impulsion. I got the horse stepping a little bit faster with the impulsion and in turn shifted its weight to the inside leg. Now we're going the other direction. You'll see that this horse will want to step behind with his front feet. So we need to know where the feet are going so that we can recognize that problem and fix it. So what I'm going to do to get this horse to step forward in the step around is I'm actually going to squeeze just a little bit with both legs and step forward and out. Step forward. So this horse needs to be stepping a little bit more forward. There we go. In his step around. So when I feel that outside foot start to step behind the inside foot I'm going to squeeze a little bit with both calves encourage the horse to shift his weight forward just a little bit so that it steps that outside foot in front of the inside foot there a little bit of squeeze and step forward real real subtle I don't want to squeeze to the point where the horse actually leaves the spin I want to squeeze just enough to shift the horse's weight forward a little bit and step across and then we're going to step forward and step out of the spin. I want the horse thinking forward. The spin is a forward movement so I want to keep that horse stepping forward into the spin and we'll get that front feet, uh, get the front feet cleaned up a little bit before we'll ask for any speed. So there we'll step forward. You'll, you'll always notice um, when I need more forward, like when the horse is doing, like, like this horse is doing, I'm going to walk forward out of that spin. I'm not going to stop and stand still. I want to encourage forward. So here we're going to step back forward again. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Encourage forward. There we go. Encourage forward. We walked out of it. And then we're going to ask the horse to step back into it again. And walk a little bit, get a little bit of forward going, get some forward on his mind, get him softened up with the right shoulder, a little bit of counter bend. There we go. Walking that horse forward, getting that outside shoulder to step across and in front of the inside shoulder. Reaffirming those, that basic move the shoulder over while you're walking forward that we taught in the bend counter bend exercise. always in any maneuver you're going to ask the horse for a little bit more and then if it gives it to you great if it don't give it to you you're going to back up and make the basics a little bit more solid right there he's kind of banging his feet together a little bit encourage forward 
going to just keep encouraging this horse to go forward. I'm not going to do anything really drastically different to this direction. This horse is wanting to suck back a little bit too far, stepping to the left. So I'm just going to and keep encouraging the horse to walk forward. Here you see we're walking forward and steer. Walk forward and steer. I want to get forward in that horse's mind. You always need to know where your horse's feet are going so you can encourage the feet to go in the right direction. Forward and steer. Forward and steer. There we go. That was a couple of nice steps. And forward and steer. There we go. It's getting a little bit better there. A little forward and steer. Nice. I'm not going to worry too much about what the back feet are doing at this time. I'll get the front feet stepping across and then we'll worry about the back feet. So as you saw with this horse, we're working the one direction just a little bit different than we're working the other direction. That's pretty common. Um, horses work a little bit better one way than the other and it's pretty common that we have to work one direction a little bit different than the other. So with this video today, I've shown you how important it is that you know where your horse is putting his feet and I've given you a couple of tips to help you uh, if he's not putting his feet where they belong. So I hope this helps you with your spin and I want to thank you for watching today.